Speed versus speed. What's up guys, Andrew here on My Channel Gear Inc. where I get to share what I'm passionate about with you. On my channel, that's PC Tech, Games, and Gear. We have a very important topic I want to discuss today, but before we do, remember to enter the giveaway which is going to pop up somewhere around here for the one terabyte NVMe PCI 4.0 drive um, from Sabrent. That was my first sponsored review. I'm giving away the product, a couple of weeks left to enter, so good luck to everyone who does. Now as far as the topic today, we are talking about something that has been brought up a lot cast latency or RAM speed and which one affects Ryzen 3000 in terms of gaming. Now for a very simplistic explanation of what those two things are, RAM speed denoted in megahertz is simply the rated speed that your RAM can run, although you always have to turn this on in your BIOS because it typically will run at 2133 if you just pop it in. You actually have to basically go in and set it to run at that rated speed. While your cast latency is essentially the amount of lag time you have from when an order is received to when it's executed through the RAM. So usually when you have those two things side by side, you want the highest RAM speed you can get and the lowest cast latency speed you can get. So those two things combine to create the best overall performance. Now here's the thing, we finally are able to take advantage of much faster kits of RAM due to the X570 chipset having much better um, memory support than previous generations for AMD. But what I really wanted to test was the speed beat cast latency in terms of you had to pick between two sets of RAM and they were relatively the same cost and that's exactly what I tested today. So we have two kits of RAM. This was with my 39X at stock and my 2080 Ti also at stock as well. All of the settings in all these games were completely maxed out. And even on stupid stuff like tessellation and ambient inclusion, all of it's maxed out because I wanted to basically stretch this as hard as we can. So you're gonna see some side by sides, just come kind of quick cuts of the benchmarking I was doing. And then I also showed all of the different cores because I was curious if the faster RAM speed would actually affect core utilization. So you're gonna see that as well. But here are those benchmarks. So there you have it guys. Now it wasn't obviously apparent to me from the side by sides of you know where we were seeing like the greatest performance increase. However, using MSI's benchmarking tool, I was able to record the results and we we're able to get a much clearer picture. Now in looking at these results, the first thing is that yes, in terms of if you're at plus two cast latency, which is the difference that AMD showed for in terms of its per, like, you know, it's kind of a sweet spot for its two kits of RAM. Basically speed trumps cast latency at least at plus two and at least 400 megahertz. So if you have to pick between two of these kits, yes, you're gonna definitely benefit from faster RAM speed if it's at least 400. Now, if this was like a 3400 kit of RAM, uh, there's no way to know, obviously, because I don't have that to test. But in this scenario, yeah, RAM speed definitely beat out cast latency. Hitman and Metro Exodus were actually the two titles that took the greatest advantage of this. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is micro stuttering and stability. So you guys saw from that GTA recording how bad we got in terms of micro stuttering in the test. When I reran the test, it was not nearly as bad, but I did get a little bit. And across the board, what I noticed is that things like micro stuttering, 1% lows and 0.1% lows were all much more consistent with my faster kit of RAM. So that might be another uh, compelling reason to gain a higher level stability. And obviously this is just for me. You may have the exact opposite experience, but that's just what I found in running these tests. So anyway, guys, conclusively, RAM speed appears to have a greater impact on your performance than cast latency, but 
the amount of performance you're going to get obviously is negligible depending on if those cast latencies are with enough of a margin in this case plus two and the ram speed is of enough of a margin in this case 400 megahertz to make a significant difference otherwise you're probably okay sticking with your 3200 kit of ram but if you have the option and there's similar costs going to a higher kit of ram as if it's plus two cast latency is going to yield better performance. So anyway, guys, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. If you thought it sucked, leave me a thumbs down. Remember to get subscribed and hit that bell icon so you know when these new videos drop. As always, thanks to my Patreon and Twitch subscribers. You guys make the channel happen in a big way. Um, obviously, you have access to the Discord and these special um, wallpapers and stuff I do every month. I'm actually going to be migrating to Mixer just as a quick aside. Not Nothing to do with Ninja. Me and Perpetual Gamer um, have been talking about this for a couple of weeks and it was something we were going to do anyway. Uh, even if Ninja left the platform tomorrow, I don't care. So so Twitch, this will probably be my last month and I'm gonna side saddle into Mixer just because uh, we like the community and we actually like the fact that there's zero lag in terms of streaming and talking and a bunch of other things as well. And if you wanna pick up any of these products through Amazon, you can, my link's down there below. All the money goes back in the channel and I really appreciate everything you guys do. As always guys, I'm gonna continue to make these videos whether you watch them or not, but I hope you do and I hope to see every single one of you next time here on Geared Inc.